Uh, we've been thinking about trying for a baby lately. Do you think we should do it? We want to, but we're not sure. It's a huge responsibility. What do you think? Lilith is a servo. This should not be possible. Um, Hi, this is Charity, and welcome back to the 100 Baby Challenge, or 100 Infant Challenge. So this challenge is 100 Baby Challenge after they introduced infants, and we have our current matriarch, Harris Sparks, and she is a werewolf. So that's been a little bit of a challenge. We have all of the lot challenges on, except for Spooky. And then we have to have a tiny home where we can only add a tile every time we have a baby. We also do quests in this series, so the quests could easily get us money or they could lose us money if we don't finish the quest. We are also competing against an NPC family and that NPC family only has 10 children right now. So we're waiting for them to finally get an 11th child, but we have our 10th child here, Dix. So he is an infant. And then we have Nina, who is a child. Octavian, who is also a child. And then Seven is at work. Sesto is a teenager. Quinn is a teenager. Clover is a teenager. And then Trinity, last episode, actually moved out. And then Paris was the second child, but she is the second matriarch as well. Uh, we do also have Alec, but he's adopted and he's currently cursed right now. So that's unfortunate. We might need to try an experiment and get him a potion of curse cleansing. So we're going to spin the wheel and find out what is the quest that we're going to do today. Go all day preventing your sims from using any sort of toilet or bush. Bladder failures only. Well, that's fun. Okay, I have done this one before because we did it with zero. But unfortunately, I have so many sims. I don't know that this is possible. So we have Dix, who is an infant and can't use the toilet anyway. And then we have no toddlers, so we don't have to worry about the toddlers going in the toddler potty. But we do have one bush out here and one toilet. So yeah, this is going to be really difficult. We have to make sure that no one can go in here. And I won't even notice if they do it because I'd have to watch the toilet in the bush the entire time and micromanage everyone to make sure that they, ah, this is going to be difficult. All right. So the pool is also a problem. Maybe since I have so many Sims, I'm just going to lock the doors and I might have to put up fences around the bush and the pool. Okay, just went ahead and got rid of the bush and I put up a fence around the pool because you can pee in the pool as well. I locked the door for the toilet, but that also is where the shower is. That's not going to work. Well, I put the toilet in my inventory. Nobody says that you can't do that. Now I still have another problem because if it's bladder failures only, Paris is a werewolf. She's going to pee on the floor. Ah, uh, I don't think that this is possible. I think I'm going to lose this quest for sure. All right, well, we'll make an attempt. Well, in order to reset her perks, unfortunately, I have to have a moon petal. And I don't have any. Okay, I can't even get water because unfortunately, I have no water on the lot. I guess I can brew coffee. Maybe that'll work. Okay, Paris is about to have her first bladder failure of the day by drinking coffee. I just have to watch the werewolves and make sure that they drink coffee versus going on the ground. All right, now it's Clover's turn. Well, Alec is graduating from high school early. 
All right, I read a hint that getting the Adrenaline Seeker lifestyle could be achieved by playing with the cow plant and definitely eating the cake. So we're going to have Clover try to play. Oh, there's a cake to eat. We'll eat the cake, even though that's going to make her really uncomfortable. And now she has a fear of cow plants. Great. Oh, we have the Adrenaline Seeker in progress. Good, that means that she's actually starting to get it. Ah, Seven does have the workaholic lifestyle in progress. So you can be a workaholic as a teen. Well, now we get to spin the winning wheel because it's midnight and now we get to use the toilet again. And we get a whopping 11%. And 11% of 144,758 is 15,923 for a total of 160,681 simoleons. Now I'm going to put all of the toilets back. So now we get to pick the quest for Monday. And what will it be? Invite a family over for a three night stayover. Uh, I think we can't do this because the way the stayover system works is it actually depends on your household size and you can't have more than eight sims in a household in a normal game. And I know I have expanded it to include more, but even if I use MC Command Center to expand it further it still will not allow me to have a stay over. Well, here we are at the Munch family house, and I don't think we know the current Munch family, so I'm going to take Paris and introduce her to them. What? This sim, Helen Munch, is pregnant. Okay. All right, they finally decided to get pregnant. All right, so... The current ones, I think it's Helen and Brody. Brody is actually an, oh no, he is cooking. Hopefully he does not start a fire. Where is Brody? I don't see him. Oh, of course he's in the basement. All right. So Brody is an elder, but he can still be a father. And then Helen is an adult. But it just took forever. They, For some reason, they were not choosing to have babies. But I guess now they are. Oh, for some reason, she already knows Brody. Is, is Brody someone she tried to hook up with? Maybe. He might have been. All right. I have downloaded a mod that allows me to have more stayover guests up to 50. And the only problem is, for some reason, I cannot invite over Brody as a stayover guest. All of the others I'm fine with. I even cheated their relationship up. And for some reason, Brody just does not come up. So we only have the mother, which is Helen, Diana, and Mark. Now, unfortunately... This means I have to unlock my doors so that they can use the bathroom and the refrigerator. And they're going to take all my counters. And so is the ranch hand and my computer and my desk and my chair. All of this stuff is going to be gone. So we're basically going to have to rebuy everything. I think it's mainly the counters that get stolen so hopefully they don't take the computer because the counters are not really that expensive. I mean, yeah, I have to buy a counter and a stool or a counter and a coffee baker. But hopefully we can get by with them just taking the counters and not the computer. So they will be here for three days. And so for the next three days, I will have to put up with whatever they do. Come on in, guys. Yeah, um, there's no place for you to sleep, really, except for in the tents. Oh, Hammy has passed away due to starvation. Um, no, he's not. He's fine. 
Okay, um, I may have to get rid of Hammy because this happens sometimes. Basically, their hunger need just disappears for whatever reason. And yeah, that's not okay. Okay, Hammy, we're going to release you into the wild. And no more hamster. Okay, I'm going to have to fire the ranch hand. Because the ranch hand keeps taking all of my counters. I don't think it should be possible for NPCs to take things while you're sitting there. Because you can't do that to them if you go to their house and try and take something. Then if they're right there, they will basically catch you in the act and your action will fail. And I can't even take counters. It will say cook with and you can't even take it. But it seems like for some reason NPCs can only take counters. Well, it's Tuesday and we get to spin the winning wheel since we did invite a family over for a stay over. They're going to be here for the next three days, but... Let's go ahead and see what we win. And we get 45%. And 45% of 157,148 is 70,717 for a total of 227,865. Now, despite the fact that we are gaining like crazy, we still have to replace counters like all the time and bar stools and sinks and appliances it's just getting annoying but as soon as these people leave i'm going to disable people coming in again okay time to figure out what we're going to do for the next quest randomize lot challenges oh that's a good one all right so we have 13 out of 14 lot challenges and what we get to do with randomizing lot challenges is we pick a random number from 1 to 14 and finally we can get rid of some of these lot challenges because I know that we are not going to get something worse than 13 unless of course we get 13 or 14 but this should be a good thing okay how many lot challenges will we have oh you gotta be kidding me that <laughs> no i thought we were going to be able to get rid of some of these but no we have to add spooky back because we got 14 how the heck did we get 14 well I guess we now have all lot challenges, including Spooky. All right, so we randomized the lot challenges and we get to spin the winning wheel. And we get 60%. And 60% of 228,035 is 136,821. For a total of 364,856 simoleons. Now the next quest for today, uh, which is Wednesday, is going to be... Paint a painting of the Grim Reaper. Which means we have to meet the Grim Reaper. And someone needs to know how to paint by reference. Alright, now Clover did finish her natural leader aspiration. So... Her adult aspiration category is creativity. So I rolled for a random aspiration and she did happen to get painter extraordinaire. So she doesn't know how to paint yet. But she also has 3000 satisfaction points anyway. I don't think she needs any more satisfaction points because she has enough to purchase fertile now. So maybe we won't use Clover. Maybe we'll just have Paris do it. I think Paris gains creative skills quickly anyway. Yeah, she's creatively gifted. So we'll go ahead and use Paris and she needs to wake up anyway. Oh, Clover gained the Adrenaline Seeker lifestyle. Oh, that's awesome. Okay, so we have to do odd jobs with her and we have to get the mediator 
trait, which is going to be difficult, actually. And it's Winterfest! We get to get a bunch of gifts! Well, one thing with the mediator trait is you can actually insult people and then apologize. Oh, we can already paint from reference. Oh, that's awesome. Okay, now we just need to get the Grim Reaper here. So who are we going to kill? All right, so here's the deal. We have several Sims who are drained. And we could kill off one of them. Because... Sesto needs to milk a cow plant. And hmm, who should we do? Let's do Seven. So Seven is going to come eat the cake. And she already has this drained buff. This means that she will definitely be dying. Now, we also have death flowers. Normally, I do not allow death flowers for Grimm because a death flower for Grimm is a guaranteed resurrection. But in this case, we are just interested in getting Grimm to appear. And there he is. Okay, Grimm. We will give you a death flower. No, we're not going to witness the death. We're going to give you a death flower. Okay, now we quickly need to get the painting easel. Can we get it in a spot where we can actually get Grim? He's a little bit off the lot. This might be a problem. No, don't witness death. Let's do a paint from reference and see if we can get Grim in there. Hopefully Helen is not in the way. All right, that is pretty awesome. All right, I gave you the death flower. Are you going to bring her back or not? It looks like she wasn't spat out. That's unfortunate. Okay, where are you? Okay, so she just gets spat back out instead of turned into a gravestone. Okay, cool. So yeah, Seven almost died because we needed to have that happen. Sorry, Seven. Oh, and we didn't get the milk from that? Oh, come on. Bye, Grim. And there's our painting. It's only worth 134 simoleons, but hey, this is a masterpiece. All right, so we succeeded in painting the Grim Reaper. So we get to spin the winning wheel. And we get 46%. So 46% of 365,180 is 167,983 for a total of 533,163. All right, let's see what is the next quest for today. So for Thursday, we will be get gold on a dinner party with at least five werewolves and three vampires. We get a free dinner table and four chairs, but I don't do the free stuff with this family because they should be able to pay for everything. So yeah, five werewolves and three vampires dinner party. There goes all of my counters and the table too. If I buy a table, it will immediately get stolen. Oh well, that's what we need 500,000 simoleons for. All right, we're just getting Dix to stand up. And I think we could age him up to a toddler now because he has pincer grass. He has sitting. He now has pull to stand. And he can babble and said his first word and blows a kiss. Okay, sure. We can now age you up. Unfortunately, we also need a cake. So I might have to do that later. Okay, our guests are supposed to be going home today. And there they go. Good riddance. Okay, this might be a bad idea, but I'm going to have Alec try to cook a cake. Basically, I have the cursed lot trait on, and anytime someone cooks using the stove, they are most likely going to start a fire. All right, are you going to start a fire, Alec? Yep, 
we started a fire. Well, that was a bad idea. Well, we will try again. Oh, one of my cow plants died. I have to pay more attention to them. That's unfortunate. All right, can you please not make a fire this time? All right, we were able to do it. Happy birthday, Dix. And Dix is going to be fussy. And he's a top-notch infant. All right, Clover is five stars in her odd jobs. Now all she needs is a mediator, which she already has. She is independent, a night owl. She has enough satisfaction points to purchase fertile once she becomes an adult. She has five stars in odd jobs. She has a fear of failure and she has the adrenaline seeker lifestyle. She's also a natural leader from completing the leader of the pack aspiration. Now we didn't have to complete the whole aspiration, just the first step, but we did the whole aspiration because it just happened as we were doing our daily tasks. So she's going to stick with the painter extraordinaire as an adult and it's going to be happy birthday to Clover. Happy birthday, Clover. And she's going to be a party animal. All right, let's first try to get pregnant. So we've invited over some singles that we can hopefully woohoo with. Oh no, it's an earthquake. Oh, well, maybe a volcanic bomb. Are there any fires? Do not see any fires. Uh, we've been thinking about trying for a baby lately. Do you think we should do it? We want to, but we're not sure. It's a huge responsibility. What do you think? Lilith is a servo. This should not be possible. Um, this is one of the things that EA kind of messed up when they did this neighborhood stories type thing. This should not be possible. It, it basically skips all of the checks for being married, for being able to have a baby, and servos don't have babies. Okay, but I'm going to say try for that, babies. Uh, Lilith is going to have a baby. Lilith is actually married to Valentino Sparks, who is a son of a vampire, but is not a vampire himself. So unfortunately, Valentino is an elder and will probably not see this baby grow up. But that means Lilith won't be alone in the manor. So, great. Okay, this is going to be utter chaos. But we are going to schedule our dinner party happening now. And I think everyone might be freezing to death because it is cold. And yeah, that's unfortunate. While we're here, though, we're going to try and get our fifth werewolf spar. I'm not sure which werewolves we've sparred with and which ones we haven't. So we're just going to try until we get that completed. Um, He's not going to spar with me. Oh, we have another earthquake or volcanic bomb or something. And there goes all my counters. And that's all we had to do is call everyone to a meal because... We basically have high charisma or, I don't know, maybe our parties go better. But for some reason, we just don't have to try for parties to be gold. All right, Paris. Let's see if we can get this last one checked off for you. We can't defeat Greg, but we can try to get our spar with werewolves done. Eventually, she's going to have to defeat Greg, and I just don't know how that's going to happen. Okay, apparently I've already sparred with him. Well, someone went into the cow plant. Who was it? Of course it was Clover. Okay, at least she's not one of my sims anymore. Okay, was that the fifth one? Pretty sure I probably already sparred with Rory. Yeah, that doesn't count either. Now, I know I've sparred with Lily and Christopher. So, Lily, Christopher, Rory, and Dylan. That should be four. If I can spar with anyone else, 
then that has to be the fifth one. And of course, no one else is a werewolf. They're all clones. Where's Greg? Greg, where are you? Oh, you're already fighting one of the vampires. That's why I couldn't find you. Okay. Okay, all I can do is provoke him. I can't spar with him, so unfortunately, we're going to have to do this the hard way. Okay, I could not get Greg's attention. There's too many people here. Well, that's one way to clear out all of the counters. <laughs> I did, however, discover that for some reason, they cannot take picnic tables, or they decided not to. They didn't take my chess table this time either. I think they only took the things inside. So... Yeah. No, they took my picture of the Grim Reaper. Oh, I don't have the picture of the Grim Reaper anymore. That's so sad. I am so mad. Okay, I don't mind when they take things I can easily replace because I have over 500,000 simoleons. But my picture of the Grim Reaper is gone. And now I'm just left with a stupid figure painting. Why could they just take something else? I mean, why did they have to take that? They didn't take the TV. They did, however, take my bookcase as well, which I really don't care. But oh, I should have put the Grim Reaper picture in the room that was locked. This little baby room is locked only because I only want Paris to attend to the babies. But yeah, they took my picture of Grim that's so sad. I had to replace every single counter, every single bar stool, and the two kitchen appliances. And I still have more than 500,000 simoleons. So that wasn't so disappointing. Okay, we're running over to Greg to try and fight him because I can't spar and I can't fight Greg when I'm pregnant. So for once, Paris is not pregnant. Eventually, we need to get this aspiration complete in order for Paris to move out when she passes on the baton. We could wait until she's an elder, but I'm a little nervous that if she's an elder, then she'll not win the fight against Greg. Okay, she provoked Greg. Let's see if she can win this fight. She's very confident, but I don't know how fit she is. Fitness level seven. She beat him! She beat Greg on the first try! Okay, well, I don't think that counts as sparring with him, though. No. Okay, we will have to find someone else to spar, but it doesn't matter because we don't have to win. Well, we actually have Alec also ready to age up. And no, you're not going to ask for advice. You are ready to age up. We have negative empathy, so he is insensitive. He has completed the first step of his spellcaster aspiration and actually finished it, so we changed him to Master Chef. He has Paranormal Investigator, Antiseptic, and Shameless. He is missing his fear. Okay, sometimes they get over their fears and I have to add them back. So everyone is supposed to have an assigned fear and he's supposed to have a fear of the dark. Okay, so that one is really hard to keep because they constantly overcome it. Okay, Alec has a fear of the dark, and he graduated high school early, and he had level three in the barista career. So the, oh, and also the outdoorsy lifestyle. So the only thing left for him to do is to blow out the candles and select his master chef aspiration again. Happy birthday, Alec! And Alec is a foodie. That's pretty good. Now, since he has the Master Chef aspiration, I'm going to go ahead and enroll him in the culinary career. He was a barista, but we, he doesn't need a part-time job as an adult. And he starts out as a caterer, level three. And he will also be taking 20,000 simoleons with him. And we will say goodbye to Alec. All right, with that, we also have satisfied our quest for today which was to get gold on a dinner party with a bunch of vampires and werewolves so we get to spin the winning wheel and we get 48 percent not bad
That gives us another 234,197 for a total of 722,108. Okay, well, at the end of this week, if we still have all of this money, we are going to be spending some of it in renovating the hotel. So I have a hotel for this challenge where all of the ghosts are going to go and where the urns are stored. And each matriarch or patriarch has a room in the hotel that they're going to decorate. Now, Paris has already finished her room, but some of the common areas could use a lot of work. So I could easily spend a lot of that renovating the hotel. And at the end of Paris's reign as the matriarch, we will be going to the hotel and throwing a family reunion. Now, what will we be doing on Friday for the quest? Sell an outfit on Trendy. Max profit is 300%. Well, this is an easy one. Maybe. Yeah, maybe not. Okay, in order to maximize selling an outfit on Trendy, we'll probably have to buy a whole bunch of them. Because the thing is that the outfits on Trendy don't sell right away all the time and we have one person at work until 7 a.m so the next person to age up will be quinn and to be honest we are actually pretty close with aging up quinn so i'm not sure if we want to have twins or not but paris uh yeah you're kind of close to being furious and i don't think i can somber howl no so we probably need to get going as quickly as possible on this one. It's going to be time for class soon for the kids. All right, time to pick up some random outfits. Why do I have to put shoes with this? This is a costume. Okay, I guess we can put maybe bunny slippers. They're not going to show up. All right, well, this one only costs 50 simoleons, and we're going to call it Berry Bear. Okay, then we have Christmas Deer and Paint Hippie. Yeah, I always like making ridiculous outfits. All right, we're going to list these three outfits and that's it because I don't feel like making any more. We have a Boho, a Basics, and Berry Bear is nothing. I don't know what it is. Now, Quinn wants to meet someone new. Well, he doesn't know Greg. We can go introduce ourselves to Greg. And yeah, that works. And Greg likes us. Okay, we're just spamming a whole bunch of flirtatious things with Trenton. And we should probably ask him to prom too. So he doesn't get resentful toward us for no prom invite. Oh, he's already asked to prom. Okay. Okay, let's take a pregnancy test and see if we are going to have baby number 11. Yes, we are. Why are you in the pool? Get out. It's freezing outside. You should not be in the pool. Um, uh, Carlo has passed away. He was shoveling snow. Okay, that is going to have to be my photo. I'll try to save them, but technically I'm not supposed to use death flowers. So this might have to be our photo of him. Where is Grim? He should be here. Is this guy not going to get a chance to be resurrected? I don't see Grim. Where is he? Well, I think I'm going to have to be content with that picture I took of him on the ground because I don't see Grim. Oh, is that him? Is that him in the background? No, that is not Grim. Where is Grim? Okay, I reset him and he's fine. I think what happened was maybe he passed out due to Paris being rampaging. Okay, so he's fine. I thought he was dead. He looked like he was passing out because he was dead. Yeah, he is dangerously tired. Okay, so technically I think he was shoveling 
Okay, so technically he was shoveling snow while dangerously tired. And I'm pretty sure that he died. But for some reason, Grim wasn't showing up. And I reset him and now he's alive again. So I guess we'll go with that. I don't know where Grim is. Yeah, there's a happy face for someone who has been raised from the dead. Let me brighten that up a little bit, though. Yeah, that's better. So we're here at the local bar, just taking in the free food and trying to get the satisfaction points for it. I wonder if tug of war counts as sparring. Probably not. Although we did find another werewolf that can potentially be the fifth person that we spar with once we're not pregnant. No, that does not count. Oh, someone stole the radio. I wanted to dance to the radio, and now I can't. Oh, I also can attempt to swipe things here. Okay, so if there's anything here that we wanted, we could potentially swipe it. All right, it's past midnight, and no one has ordered my trendy outfits. So, that means we have to spin the losing wheel. And we get, ouch, 78%, which means we lose 563,172 simoleons for a total of 158,843 simoleons. Well, that's still a lot of money, but hopefully we don't fail another one. All right, let's figure out what the final quest we're going to do this week is. And it's Saturday and we are going to befriend a flock of birds and order a tree. Well, basically from build by. Uh, Simazon is just another term for build by. Well, this is unfortunate um, because befriending a flock of birds is not easy not at all easy and yeah we may not get that done in a day we'll basically have to spend all day in Hennepin on Bagley and try to get one of the birds to like us that's going to be hard oh now someone buys it so it's too late, but someone did eventually buy one of the outfits. Oh, Richie is now an elder cat. Okay, so we won't have Richie for very much longer. All right, we're going to try and have Quinn do this. I don't think it'll work, though. Oh, Quinn, that's such a sweet song. And he has level one of the singing skill. So he's not really that good. Oh, did we actually make friends with these birds? Not quite yet. Oh, now that it's going very badly. Oh, I can give another gift. Good. No, not that gift. Oh, they didn't like that gift last time. I shouldn't have given the same gift. Oh, well, even... Oh, we befriended them. Oh, awesome. We actually won this one. Well, Quinn is irresponsible. He has the carefree morning sim and great storyteller reward traits. He got to the top of the drama club career. He was a creative genius as a child. He has the fear of ghosts. He has the outdoorsy lifestyle. And he has completed the first step of the soulmate aspiration, as well as being a top-notch infant, a top-notch toddler. So he is going to age up. And ironically, they have not kicked him out of school yet, even though his performance is poor. He has an F, and they're just not kicking him out for some reason. I would think that by now he would have gotten expelled. Happy birthday, Quinn! And Quinn is an art lover, and his... Adult bonus is going to be location. He's a high school dropout. Okay. I guess since he's an F that he technically doesn't get to graduate. I have a rule in my 100 baby challenge that if a child needs to get 
the irresponsible trait that they can't get an A in school because basically it makes it almost impossible since getting good grades constantly put, pushes your responsibility up into the responsible range instead of irresponsible. All right, and we give Quinn another 20,000 smoleons and we're left with 138,410. Well, we finished the quest for today, which was to get the bird tree. And we now have the flock of wild birds right here. And we're going to call this Old Hollow Flock. So we get to spin the winning wheel. And it's 62%. And 62% 62 of 137,910 is 85,504 for a total of 223,414. All right, well, that is the last quest for this week and we are wrapping it up. So we just have a couple of kids who actually need to watch the New Year's Eve countdown. It's almost 11 p.m. So that's the end of the week and this is Charity. Thanks for watching.